Hey y'all and welcome to beautiful Durham, North Carolina. Today we are in for a special treat because I am going to take you on a little field trip of Kiefer landscaping. So it's just right outside of the main part of Durham and it is a beautiful nursery. So y'all remember we just had the land in the back of our property cleared and this place here is going to give me so much inspiration for our woodland garden. So I can't wait to take you on a little tour of this nursery because it is truly magical. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, so here we go as we walk in. So this is a nursery unlike any nurseries that I've ever visited. Look how beautiful. This is going to be spectacular. All right, guys, so which way should we go? Here we go. One of the things I'm always looking for are different types of hydrangeas, and they have a beautiful selection here. They have some of the tiny, tough stuff back there. And this one here is a fairy tale bride. I have never seen that one before, so I'll have to look that up and put a picture on the screen. And look at the variegation in these leaves here. This is a Emerald Gaty Winter Creeper. That is beautiful. I love that. More hydrangeas over here. And then some hostas. Looks like they kind of fell over with the wind. Look at this beautiful tree. Has to be some type of dogwood. Appalachian Joy dogwood. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. I definitely think we could use some dogwoods in our landscape. And then over here, they have a lot of beautiful azaleas and a stunning Japanese maple. This one is called a Crimson Carol. That is beautiful. And look over here at the hydrangeas. Let's find one that has some color on it. Look how pretty this is. Gorgeous. And this one is called, hmm, I've never heard of that before. And it is a microphalia, heavy bloomer with striking flower color. Flowers open deep pink and darken as they age. That is gorgeous. That would be beautiful in a flower arrangement. And then look at this stunning plant here. Looks like some type of hydrangea, like a lace cap but it is huge. Oh, that's so gorgeous. That would be beautiful in the woods, wouldn't it? But we'd have to have a fence to keep the deer away. Okay, well, let's head over this way. And I want you guys to check out this cypress tree. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the temperature in this area it goes down at least 10 to 15 degrees. It is so massive. Beautiful azaleas. And then we have a neat little tree over here. I think it's some type of red bud. Let's see. Yep. Ruby Falls. Ruby Falls red bud. Look at that. Such a beautiful specimen of a tree. Then we have some beautiful ferns. That would look good in our wood area. And then some beautiful grasses over here. That grass is called a golden variegated sweet flag. That's beautiful. And then we've got some rhododendrons. And then more of the beautiful selection of azaleas and ferns. All right, let's go over here and take a look at these grasses. 
this is something I definitely want to add some more of grasses. I feel like I've got a lot of big bulb blooms. And I know Janie was talking on her podcast about having more of this wispy texture with lots of big, beautiful, bold flowers. So this is an Eversheen variegated sledge or slage. Beautiful. And then over here, this one is beautiful variegation. This one is called a Feather Falls. So you can see it's a lot bigger than the other one. What a beautiful selection of grasses. Okay, and then we have some hellebores. This one here is the wedding party, Maid of Honor. Um, it's a hellebore or Lenten rose. Very pretty. Some more grasses. And then some more of the hellebores. And this is the Rome in Red. This is the Honeymoon series. Gorgeous. And look at the texture of this. Very pretty. This is called the Sun King Golden Japanese Spike Bird. Interesting. Three foot high, light four to six hours a day, zone three through nine, blooms midsummer to late summer, pairs well with ferns, hosta, and corbels. Bright golden foliage. Tiny white flowers, deep purple blackberries in the fall. Okay, so let me know, have you seen this plant before? Because I think that would be a beautiful pop of color in the woods. So pretty. Then we have some of the black mondo grass. Janie has some of this at her house and it's gorgeous. Some more grasses over here. And look at this beautiful rhododendron. Oh, wouldn't have that been beautiful to see it in bloom? Gorgeous. And then look at this. This is such a beautiful texture to have in the garden. This is the Hakanakaloa grass. Look how pretty that is. I love that. And then going over here, we have some more of the hellebores. And this one is from the wedding party. It's called a shotgun wedding. Isn't that pretty? That's a really pretty one. You could get a beautiful selection of hellebores here. And then look at these beautiful ferns. This is a Jurassic gold wood fern. That is pretty. I like that a lot. That would go beautiful in our woods as well. Okay, so we have some more beautiful ferns over here. And this one here is a lot taller. And this is called the ghost lady fern. How big this is. Big beautiful fern. Getting a lot of sun right now too. And then look at the texture. Look at these leaves. Chinese wild ginger. That. That is so beautiful. Heart shade to full sun. Interesting. Heart shade leaves and dark green leaves. Malted with silver. Deer and rabbit resistant. Mm, this would be a good one for us as well. Keep the deer away. And then look at this. A giant leopard plant. That is beautiful. Looks like something that you would find in a pond. Looks like a lily pad. Let's see if they have anything about it. Nope. No specs on that one. And then we have some more. Looks like a ground cover over here. Or maybe it's a daisy. If I can find one here. Hmm. Not sure. None of the tags say what, exactly what it is. Some more big, beautiful rhododendrons. And look at these beautiful hollies. Beautiful. All right, let's go underneath the shade of this tree. Wow, they have a beautiful selection of azaleas. 
lots of azaleas. And then around this tree, they've got more of the um, hydrangeas. This one is the Invincible Ruby. Look how pretty she is. And then it looks like we've got some of the oak leaf hydrangeas over here. Look at that pretty color. Let's see if they have a tag on this one. Ruby slippers. Oak leaf hydrangea. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I actually stopped in my tracks at this frosty abelia. That is so pretty. And it gets, it needs sun to part sun, 30 inches tall, 30 inches wide. USDA zone 6. Hmm. Beautiful. I love that. I love the variegation. I think that would be beautiful in front of my hydrangeas. And look at this. Japanese white pine. Oh, it's so pretty. And then look beside it. I think that's a ginkgo tree. Let's go over there and look. It is a ginkgo tree. It's the Allen Glorious Ginkgo. Y'all look at the leaves on this. They are so pretty. You know, these get that bright chartreuse yellow in the fall. That is a beautiful plant. I love that. Gorgeous line of azaleas. And this is the one I think my dad really likes. It's like this bright orange color. Gibraltar azalea. And it's fragrant. Oh, that's pretty. Lots of beautiful azaleas here. In the backdrop here, they have some beautiful green giant arborvitae and then there's something in the back that's really really pretty but can't get back there to it but it's gorgeous more of the beautiful japanese maples this one's called a coral bark so pretty my husband was just saying we probably needed to get a japanese maple we usually have them at all of our houses and then let's see what this little one is here. Crimson Queen. Gorgeous. And this, this one here. Um, I'll let you guys pronounce that. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Look at the beautiful selection. I think it's so neat when they have all the maples out here together. So you can look at all the leaves and the textures and the colors. Look at how stunning this one is. Gorgeous. We have to go and read this tag here. This is the Emperor, Emperor One Japanese Maple. Oh, and then look at the variegation. Oh, wouldn't this be pretty in the wood line? Oh, this would make you stop in your tracks. Lady Sunshine Variegated Dove Tree. That is pretty. How pretty that is. Look at them. Wouldn't that be so pretty to have like a trio of those? And look at this beautiful Japanese maple. It's a bright green. Probably this one here, but just a bigger one. Autumn Moon Maple. That's gorgeous. Wow, they have a beautiful selection. More of those Appalachian dogwoods. And they're underneath this beautiful cypress tree. So gorgeous. And look at this beautiful texture here. Wouldn't that be pretty as a ground cover? This one is a Russian arborvitae. It looks like ferns. That is gorgeous. 
looks so pretty here at the base of this tree. I found my favorite thing. Figs. Look at the beautiful figs, guys. So this is our tried and true brown turkey fig here. So gorgeous. And then let's see what this one is. This is a Southern Living one. This one is Little Miss Figgy. Well, she's cute. She kind of grows flat. And then we have some blueberries. Lots of beautiful blueberries here. Let's see the name of this one. This is a just premier blueberry. Nothing special. Those are gorgeous. And then what is this little one over here? With little tiny berries on it. This is a Rosa's Blue Evergreen Blueberry. Look how pretty. I think you just have this for the texture and the leaves. Beautiful. Okay, then in here we have some unusual specimens of evergreens. What is this one? Oh, let's see. I'll let you guys pronounce that there. That's a long word tongue twister. But look how pretty unusual. And then we definitely have to go over there and see what the name of this one is. This is a blue atlas cedar. So gorgeous. And this one here is a cedarus theodora fill in blue. And yes, you are feeling blue, aren't you? Beautiful. And this is a dwarf Pinocchi cypress. Now that is gorgeous. Look at that. It's on like a little standard. So pretty. Here is some of the cinnamon girl. And then we have some Nandinas over here. And then some beautiful pines. Look at that. Looks like a little lollipop. Just kind of give you a little tour of this. Japanese white pine there. Look at that. So gorgeous. And look at this little tree. Oh, it's so cute. Oriental spruce. They're so pretty. And the pollinators are going crazy over here at this hummingbird summer sweet. Look at that. So pretty. All right, guys, so let's go into the heat. Oh, look at here. Look at this beautiful grass with the pink tips. This is a little bluestrom chameleon. Now that is pretty. Love it. Daisy May Japanese. Aster white, those are pretty, and this is a Rosie Jane, gorgeous. Here's our tried and true Puckster Amethyst Butterfly Bush, so pretty. We've got some Miss Huff Lantana. No buds on it right now. And then it looks like we've got some more butterfly bush over here. And this is the Pus Pugster Pinker butterfly bush. So pretty. Okay, guys, so we may take a quick walk through here because it is very hot in this greenhouse. But I did wanted to see what this was. This is a salvia over here. And here's a midnight model fashionista salvia. Isn't that pretty? These are native plants on this table, it says. So here is um, butterfly weed. 
gorgeous. And then we've got some onyx and pearls, beard tongue. And then we've got some swamp milkweed. That. Gorgeous. And look at these leaves, guys. This is so beautiful. It's called Pharaoh's Mask Elephant Ear. Gorgeous. Some beautiful rosemary. That smells delicious. And then we've got some sage here called Meadow Sage Salvia. And then we have a beautiful butterfly. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't want to see where it lands, what it likes. Maybe it's just looking for water. Are you just looking for water? So this is the beautiful cover girl phlox. So pretty. Definitely have some bumblebee action over here. And then as I'm walking around, let me show you guys what I'm walking around. This huge elephant ear living its best life over here. And then look at this speed wheel. So pretty. It had a bumblebee on it just a minute ago more of the beautiful elephant ears and then we have some more of the beautiful gara this one's pretty it's like a white and pink we'll go back here where it's a little bit shaded and we have some beautiful hostas oh i feel so much better in here getting hot over there now this is a beautiful Corbell with that timeless glow. I love that. So this is called a Dream Weaver Hosta. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The variegation is gorgeous. And we'll go over here and look at the rest of these hostas. What a great selection. This is the water slide. Pretty. And then look at this one with the beautiful curled up leaves. Shadow land wheel. That is beautiful. Okay, we got another hot little greenhouse here. Look at the beautiful hookahs. Lumbago. So pretty. And more native plants on this table. It's a phlox called Blue Ribbons. That's beautiful. Have some beautiful orange blades Nephophia here. Gorgeous. And a beautiful selection of peonies. All different kinds over here in this collection. This is so pretty how this is planted right at the base of the cypress tree. Such a good way to kind of cover its roots. Okay guys, so let's go over here and take a look at their pond. So watch out for Bigfoot. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this pond is. It is so 
beautiful. And the cattails, oh, they're so gorgeous. Look at that waterfall. So pretty. Look at here, guys. Oh, where'd it go? Let's just sit for a moment and soak in all the beautiful nature around this pond. Look at that pink lily pad over there. And then there's a yellow one. And then up above the rocks, some beautiful pink flowers. Wow, look at all of these trees. And the beautiful Fatsia. This is also good for shade. Lots of beautiful dogwood trees in here. Then over here they have all of their water plants. Isn't this just so neat? They are just growing here in water. So a whole line of them in these raised beds. And it looks like they've got a plastic liner. And then they just fill them up with water. Gorgeous. That is so neat. I've never seen that before. And then look at this beautiful display. Oh, they have such beautiful evergreens here. Like evergreens that I've never seen before. No, it sounds like I've been under a rock, but maybe I have. This is the Weeping Norway Spruce. And then over here, I'll let you pronounce that name. Those are gorgeous. And then look at the then look at the texture on this one. So beautiful. And that one is just a bright pop of yellow. And this one here is a Pinus strobus Niagara Falls. Look at that. Gorgeous. Just a beautiful line of evergreens here. Amber Glow Dawn Redwood. Wow. That is beautiful. And look at this little guy. Look at there. Serpentine Weeping Blue Atlas Cedar. Wow. That is neat. This one is called a Strawberry Shortcake Dwarf Wax. And then over here, I think I spy some more blueberries. Very pretty. And then look at the leaves on this one. This is a double blue lilac. Wow, that is gorgeous. And then more blueberries. I love blueberries. Look at all the beautiful plants in there. I'm not going to walk in because I have the water running, but it's absolutely beautiful. Look at those hydrangeas back there. I think I spy some limelights.
Okay, y'all, so I headed back over to the shade because it was getting pretty hot over there. But I did pick up three plants here. This one here is called a Phlox Blue Ribbons. And it has these beautiful purple flowers. But I just love the variegated leaf with a little bit of red on the tips. So this will go into the shade flower bed. And then I picked up two of these beautiful grasses. And you see the little tinges of pink on the edges? Uh, the lady said these get to be about two foot tall, and it's called a little blue stem chameleon. And I think that is so pretty to add some more wispy texture into the garden and look how it'll blow when the wind blows. That is absolutely going to be gorgeous. Okay, guys, so let's end it where it started at, back over here underneath all these beautiful cypress trees. It has been such a beautiful day and this garden center did not disappoint. So if you are ever in Durham, please go and look it up and I'll make sure to post their socials all in the description below. So I had such a wonderful time and it was just a beautiful trip today. So I hope you've had a chance to get in your garden today. Bye friends.